Hi there, welcome back to It's Only Paper. Today I am working in my new home journal. I'm going to be working on a new page and I'm just going to try and use up junk and bits and pieces that have been gifted to me today. So nothing new or anything like that, proper junk journaling. I've got three photos and I'm talking about a day when we went and looked around a beautiful old house and it also introduced us to a town that we hadn't been to before. So I'm excited to journal about it. I've got an envelope that was sent to me. I've got some packaging. I've got some stamped images. I think these were sent to me by Emma. Um, I've got, I was, wrote a to-do list the other day and that was left at the bottom. I've got some other packaging, some stamp tags. I've got all sorts here. I've just found this in my junk basket. I've also got my to-do list left from yesterday. I thought I might be able to use that. And other tiny bits of bits and pieces. I was going through some happy mail and that had been sent to me. I've also pulled out a happy mailbox of bits and pieces that have been sent and I've got a bit of a junk basket here as well so um, yeah that's what we're going to be using today using up bits and pieces that you can find around your house I love doing this kind of thing I've also printed off um, calendars to use. They're free downloads that I found on Google, but they didn't quite um, fit my planner. And this was what was left. So rather than bin this, it's so pretty. I've had it on the side of my desk as I knew they would be fun to use as well. So I'm going to start off with these. I've got an idea for how I want to display the photos. So first of all, just to make sure this is double sided, I'm going to stick this back to back, trim down the sides. I'm saying that I do want it a decent height. Yeah, I'm going to leave that actually, because then also I've got a little space for journaling if I need it as well. So there's a tiny bit of a white edge there. It's not the end of the world, but and these colours go really, really well with all the bits and pieces that I've pulled out. It's a bit of a colour combo here. You know how much I love a colour combo. Um, there, you can kind of see my colours. I'm going for mints and yellows with a little bit of blue. Um, so what I was thinking, I might do that and I could actually put a piece of washi along the bottom there, was I was thinking about having my photos like that, but then folding them in so that it pops out so then I've got one here and one here that's what I was thinking I quite like that idea but also I'm wanting to put something behind it I do love this envelope um, mm, I'll have a think about that um, this I would like to use for some of my journaling I'm just feeling like I want something behind um, I have got this, some mulberry paper. This could work really well. Mulberry paper, if you wet it, it shreds beautifully down the edges. Um, let's just take the ends off just to fray it. it. used to be a big thing when I first started crafting this kind of thing. Boys are just off to the cinema. There we go. Yeah, I think maybe that that would work quite well. I'm going to pop this in and then see the boys off. I love how you can see the wording there through that. There we go. The boys are off. So that's peace and quiet for me for a few hours and I plan to work the whole time and try and get loads of videos filmed for whilst we're gone. Oh, I tell you what would be quite good is a tab top on there. I'm going to go and grab my tab punch. And as today is all about using junk, I found this in my scrap basket. Is it going to be large enough? I think I might just get away with that. Try and get it in there. Oh. There we go. That's actually 
actually worked really well. I quite fancy making that quite pretty. I might do something on there actually. Let's really make this fancy. I like making fancy tab tops. Let's add some of this to it. I've got a little bit of fabric that's quite pretty. That can go on it. And what else have I got that I can layer up? got a bow although I'm saying that this journal is quite flat I don't want this one to be too bulky I think I'm just going to layer a couple of bits up just to make it look fun I've got that on there as well and then I might add a big heart I really like that looks quite nice there's something about adding texture as well it makes such a difference there and it looks pretty both sides as well um, could even actually prettier make it a bit prettier this side just to match I think that would look really nice I'm now going to I want to make sure the photo of us is on the outside so I'm going to add that one first And then on the back, I can add the other. Oh, I tell you what would work well if I match this up so that when it closes, it's exactly the same so it doesn't overlap. I like that idea, it just makes it look a little bit tidier look at the doorway of that house this house was beautiful I did vlog about it um, I'll leave the vlog down below it was such a beautiful house but it needed much more work doing than we wanted to do um, I quite like I found this in amongst all my bits and pieces I quite liked that oh I like that that goes really well. You know when you've been holding on to something for years? I just went through my die cuts. I like it that we can see it on there. And um, just pulled out a few bits and pieces. So I want something on here, but I don't know what. I am loving this. Really love that. Um, I might actually staple that to the top. And I could even put the name of the town there. It was so cute. Really wanted to use this envelope. Um, I like both sides, but I don't need a pocket. So I think I might trim that down so that I can use both sides. And I can use the second side a different time. It's too pretty to waste, isn't it? Look at that, I couldn't bin that. I might even use the wax seal. And then I was thinking about having it along here. I'm not as fast with having Lisa there. Mm. I'm going to take this bit off. We don't need that. I do really like that. Mm, decisions, decisions. I know what I'm going to do. I have made my mind up. All right, I'm going to stick this inside. There's something about sending somebody happy mail, isn't there? That just made me so happy coming through my door. It was obviously inside some Happy Mail, but I love, look at the stamps on there. They look so nice. And I don't want to cover that up. I really like it. So I'm actually thinking I might put it there so it can then lift up. But then maybe have something with the tag as well. So let's only stick the top bit on. And then I can still see that because I don't want to cut that out or leave that because I really like it I am loving the tag but I feel like I might oh you know what I have got which I took I took this off this was on some I think some oh it was a little notepad 
pieces that I got and I really liked the vellum. I wonder if, yes, I'm going to trim down the tag slightly to make sure it fits. I want it to be even. I'm going to re-stick the little, um, what do you call it? It's like a belly band, isn't it? I guess the wrap from around the notepad. I just love the vellum and I knew that I'd want to. I've got another one of these somewhere as well. So I thought it would be very handy. So let's stick that like that. It's obviously got something printed on it, which we're not going to use, but that can slide on there. So I am going to take this off here and pop that on there. And then this actually holds the tag there. That looks all right, doesn't it? I like that. Um, what else did I want to include? I found this. I don't know if I need that as well. Oh, I might actually put that on the tag. I think I need to ink the edges. I think that would look a little bit nicer. So I'd love to hear from you. What kind of journaling have you been doing lately? Let me know. Have you been doing much? It is that time of year when it can be really, really tricky. I think this ink pad's seen better days. That on there these colors are just my favorite so um this is all to do with our this is going to be really messy now isn't it this is going this is all to do with our house hunting um i just wanted to document the whole story of it places we went to um this particular town we hadn't actually heard of before and we went there and we absolutely fell in love with it um it was just beautiful. Um, Sherborne in, I think it's Dorset. I really recommend you go and visit. Um, the cutest little town. There wasn't too much there. Very historic. It dates back the abbey there, which is near where we're stood in this photo. There's Yellowstone everywhere. It's beautiful. The abbey dates back to um, 705. When you go to the abbey, there is actually a list of, what do you call them? Um, they're not priests, are they? I don't know what they're called. Um, vicar almost seems like the wrong word. I can't think what they're called. Um, let me know. Leave a comment below, please. But everyone that's um, been there um, is listed on outside the abbey which i thought was really cool and the most recent one who's there now is female first female which i thought was quite cool so that was nice to see nice to see a little bit of progress um so yeah that was we had such a nice time there and it's definitely somewhere we would like to go back to we were yeah really enjoyed it just had such a nice feel to it i would have happily had lived there um it was a bit more expensive than where we were looking. If we wanted a beautiful three bedroom cottage, um, we could have easily have moved there, but we need somewhere a bit larger with us both working from home. It just wouldn't have worked. I did think about using this. I really love this. I'm going for it. I don't know where though. might actually oh that doesn't hasn't unstuck very well I am going to use this on the back we stopped and um, after viewing the house we had lunch there um, it was just really really nice we had such a lovely day On that side um 
There's also two castles there. That's what else, why else I wanted to live there. There's an old, old castle ruins and a newer castle. We wanted to try and see them, but you have to pay to actually even park. Well, not, it was not the parking. It was more you pay to go into the castle as you park. And as we were house hunting that day, we didn't have the time. So we wanted to save it until we can go properly. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward when we move closer to the area to go and explore there. It's not that close to where we're living, but obviously a lot closer than where we are now. Um, to where we're moving to, sorry. Yeah, I think Emma may have sent me these stamped images. Um, these are really fun. I've been saving these. I might pop it on the bottom there. It's a really nice thing to do in a Happy Mail swap, actually, to include some stamped images. Actually, I didn't want to... I don't want to take off the whole of the... block it off completely. I need to find something, though, to go on there. I'm even thinking I might cut this out and use this and just cover up the wording. So this was from a patchwork quilt that I bought in Florida in October. I could not believe the price of it. Um, it's a massive, great big king size and it cost um, $32. It wasn't even discounted. That was the full paying price and it's just what we had been looking for for years and we have it now folded over at the bottom of our bed and we love it it's just so perfect I still can't believe that we paid that price it's such good value I just need something obviously to pop in there this is coming together really nicely it's so pretty I don't think I need that I've got a little bit of washi here I might just pop down here and some at the top to tie in together. Um, yeah, I need to do something with this tag as well. But I don't know what yet. And I want to do something on the other side of the tag as well so it's not just one-sided this on here I don't quite know what I'm doing yet this um mulberry paper I forgot how handy it is I'm really enjoying this today it's almost like going back to old school crafting again pop that in the top corner there's a little bit left use some washi tape on there do you feel that if you're just journaling with junk, then washi tape doesn't count? You can use it. I'm going to add over the wording there, I'm just going to pop um, some of the fabric, a little trim that I had. And that kind of like covers that up a little bit. And then I was also going to take the string off here and use this instead I think it's really pretty this was left over from some Mickey ears that I made I'm just oh I can see them actually I'll show you I bought a fat quarter of fabric and then I made these ears I just buy cheap Primark ears they were three pounds I think they've gone up to four now take off the bow and then make my own don't they look cute and those ears are the most comfortable ears you'll ever find. They are so good. Um, I'm also thinking I might add a bit of a tab top as well because I don't actually have too many pieces on this journal like that. There, just so I've got a little bit hanging over the top. And I might do one on the side as well. I just find that doing that kind of thing just makes such a difference to a page there. I think I'm quite nearly done. I do want to, there we go, um, 
Oh, is that going to be too much by doing that? I do want to add some wording though. I might grab out my stickers and just see what I've got. I've got some super old Coco Daisy stickers. This says picture perfect, which is exactly what this place was. I've also found one of my really, really old stickers, which goes on there perfectly. And I've also got, it's using up things like this. I might try and use up the whole of these stickers. Um, we did actually have tea. So, oh, what have I done here? Oh, I've stapled it. <laughs> That's why that won't open. Sometimes when you've got something and then you have something over the top, it can be easily forgotten. Let's put the flowers. Oh, this is turning out to be so pretty. There, perfect. And I finished that sticker sheet, which is good. This is turning out to be such a good using up session. I'm using up these stickers from goodness to how, knows how long ago. I've got an April sticker. This happened. And I want to use this one as well. I'm going to use this one on a photo, actually. That's so pretty. And I've got a half circle, which I am going to pop on here. It was stuck to something else, so it's I had to unpeel it off a little bit. There we go. And I've popped a to do it today's sticker there in the middle. I am so happy with this. This is turning out to be possibly one of my favourite journal pages. It's just to me, this is everything about journaling that I love. Just playing, using up things, but documenting a particular memory as well. This is what I love. I'm really enjoying this. Got some other ones here I'm going to use. I do want to do some journaling as well, so I mustn't forget that that's obviously... The priority of this page. I'm gonna go and get my journaling done. I am feeling so happy with this page. I do however now standing back I've done all the journaling I feel this kind of stands out on its own a little bit. I kind of want to add some other little pops of the yellow. I found this which I've been holding on to for a long time and I feel this is now the perfect time. Hello life as we're sort of like making changes with our life and then I've got these really old stickers that again have been kicking around. Oh gosh that's not even sticky anymore. Goodness knows how old that is. I may well have to get the um, glue gun out for that. Oh it's, it's not coming off very well. I might have to get the hot glue gun out but I just thought it would be quite sweet to add a couple of these just to add that colour because it oh, kind of felt like it needed it. It's definitely a day for using up bits and pieces today. Um, oh, what about in the middle? I don't know. I think maybe at the top here. Yeah, that kind of goes a bit better. I would like something in the middle there as well. I think I might steal. Oh, no, I thought I might be able to take that off. I'll see if I've got a flat back gem. Perfect. There we go. That goes perfectly. I'm so pleased with this. I haven't done loads of journaling on there. The journaling is actually behind. And then I've put underneath, we may not have loved the house, but we fell in love with this little town. That's the thing, isn't there? To try and take positives from everything that you do. Documented about our lunch that we had in a little bakery. And then I've documented about the house that we went to visit as well because that's one of the little stories from our house hunting. I am so happy with this page. I've had so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed creating this page using junk with me today and I really encourage you to use up your bits of junk that you've been hoarding as well. It's a great feeling. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!